Oh my god, I'm gonna say this is so wrong. There's so much stuff in this box! What is this? This is a long one. There's two things again. Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it is lovely and gloomy and wintry and autumnal, should I even say. I'm getting right into the mood um, of wrapping up and snuggling up. With that in mind, we're going to open up something really special today. This is the Liberties of London Advent Calendar. It retails for £245 with a value of over £1,000. So £1,065, I think. My friend Jo has kindly lent me this so that I can open it up on the channel. Can we all just say thank you to Jo in the comments so that we can open this up? Because uh, if, if it wasn't for her, we couldn't do that. Um, she actually let me open up her ritual advent calendar and also her boyfriend's ritual advent calendar last year. So she's an absolute gem. This advent calendar is absolutely stunning. It is so heavy. And what this is, this is actually the front of the Liberties of London store in London. Um, and I absolutely love the building. I always make a trip to go in there and inside it's just like Aladdin's cave. You've got obviously beauty and makeup and things like that, but you also have homeware, you have fragrance, you have my favourite section as well as like oh, they've got clothes and bags and stuff, but my favourite section is the textiles area. I think it's on like the second or third floor and it's just reams and reams and reams of beautiful Liberties of London fabrics and they actually sell patterns where you can make clothes and things like that or tote bags. It's great. And I will say as well, the staff are phenomenal in Liberties of London. Um, like the actual, like, um, not like the concession staff, like I, I can't speak for them, but like the actual staff from Liberties of London. Um, we were in the clothes section, obviously it's quite intimidating, I'm a, a larger lady. And um, they were just so sweet to me and my mum when we went down there, just really nice. Um, so yes, shout out to the Liberties of London staff. Anyway. Um, let's open this up because it is gorgeous. You've got these beautiful peacock feathers in here and you've also got gold embossed numbered drawers. I mean, look at that. So nice thing off the bat is that it's a drawer so that it's reusable. Obviously it's made from very thick cardboard again. So good for if you did want to recycle it. But these are so pretty, why wouldn't you want to reuse it? My only thing is that I notice is that this advent calendar looks a lot like previous year's advent calendars. So I feel like my only critique so far would be that Liberty's maybe needs to switch it up a little bit, have a different design. I think it's beautiful that they use the front of the shop, but when the last three advent calendars kind of all look the same, it starts to lose it being special. Is that just me? Is am I being a bit pedantic? It is a gorgeous box, but like mix it up a little bit if you know what I mean. Okay, so we're gonna move into day one. Oof, this is a thick draw. We have got, oh my God, there's two things in one draw already. That is insane. Oh, oh, they've got little nice little spoolie, like not spoolie, little wiggles. Oh my God, two things. Okay, so we've got the Sunday Riley. Are we supposed to have two things in one drawer? That feels, it feels wrong, but so right. Uh, we have the Sunday Riley uh, Brightening and Depuffing Eye Contour Cream. Look at that. And obviously, Sunday Riley, very expensive brand. And then we also have the Ven Vitamin B Activated All-in-One Concentrate for Sensitive Skin Types. Look at that. So, I think obviously the Sunday Riley one's gonna be full size. I don't know about this one. There is a mixture of full size and deluxe size in here. Right, I'm gonna put them back in the drawers that they came in, so I don't forget. But I'll leave them open so then I know where I've been. Okay, door number two. Oh, lovely, oh my God, okay. This is the Daviness Oi Oil, and this is absolutely unreal. If you've never had something from Daviness before, it's one of my favorite hair care brands, the hairdressers that I go to use it. The stuff smells amazing. I've been using it for, like, when I treat myself, because it is an expensive brand. Um, I've been using it for over 10 years. I absolutely freaking love this stuff. And this, it says, absolute beautifying potion so it's like um like a leave-in oil for your hair this stuff is amazing and it smells so good i th think this is full size you can buy daviness on beauty bay 
just in case obviously and also obviously <laughs> liberty of london then we have got door number three this is a kraken box so far maybe i should have got this one we have got the wild sauce miracle oil rose hip and thistle face oil organic and vegan look at the color of that that's stunning there we go. So this is absolutely gorgeous. It says, to clean skin, apply a few drops of Miracle Oil onto your face and neck area. Lightly massage in an upward motion uh, until the product has absorbed. Tip, applying on to damp skin increases absorption rate. So absolutely great. Rosehip oil is really good for helping with redness. It's also really good for like sensitive skin as well. I'm not too sure about the thistle, but absolutely stunning. Now day four. Ooh, we've got a box inside of here. I'm gonna pull this drawer out. Ooh, what is this? This is a candle, okay. So this is the, oh my God, I'm gonna say this so wrong. This is the Carrier Frères uh, Tomato Candle. So it's 100% vegetable wax with European organic rapeseed wax, vegan product, vegetable ink, pack and labeled in recycled forest, you know, FCS, FSC paper. It lasts for 20 to 24 hours and it's a two and a half ounce candle. I've, this is gorgeous. Look at that packaging. I'm going to open this up so we can have a smell. Obviously, I'm not going to burn it or anything. But it, oh, it comes with a little booklet with stuff on it. And then I'm just going to open this up so you can see the candle. Wow, I can smell it already and it smells amazing. Well, first of all, look at that. Beautiful. Oh my god so you get it's it's a sweet candle but you, you right if you've ever got a packet of tomatoes from the vine or you've grown tomatoes and you rub the leaves and it has the green when you that green kind of tomato smell it has that as the end note it's very sweet at the top and powdery but then it has that greenhouse green tomato leaf smell. That is absolutely phenomenal. And I'm actually going to take a picture of that because I really want that as a candle. I'm, look at me taking a picture. I genuinely would never have thought of like picking something with a tomato as being a really beautiful smell for a candle. But that is absolutely, oh, that is divine. Oh, Joe, you're going to absolutely love this. Number five down here in the bottom, we've got another tube. I feel like this advent calendar is probably going to be quite skincare heavy, but this is all oh, great. This is the Aveda Botanical Repair Leave In Treatment. Now, this is a strengthening treatment. I've had this before. I actually got this in the Look Fantastic advent calendar last year. I'll leave that at the end so you can have a little watch. This smells so good and it makes your hair feel really good. It is expensive. I think it's like 20 pounds or 25 pounds for a tube i don't know how big the tube is this is a, a big size and this is the size that we got in the it's obviously deluxe but like a big deluxe size i think i got that in the, in the um, look fantastic one this smells really good and if you are wanting like a leave-in treatment it's really 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 lovely next we've got where is num day number six at the top wow this is an unusual bottle okay what is this what is this this is the Peony Couture Wilhelm Parfumerie New York. Look at that bottle. Oh my God. This beautiful like candy cane glass swirl bottle. Hmm. I haven't got long enough nails. No, nah, it's not gonna be good. How do you get the lid off? Oh, well, okay. I'm gonna have one spritz. That is beautiful um there's oh wow that changes really quickly it's it's very rosy like in the garden rose and then it goes really dark and heady i don't know what the ingredients are for that and in fact there is a ingredients list here let's see if i can find it that is actually beautiful it reminds me maybe of a diptyque fragrance i can't think let's have a look um oh it it just has it doesn't have the actual ingredients breakdown but it, it's obviously got must have peony in it because they're peony it's called peony couture but 
it smells really rosy, but it's almost like a rose. It, I, I wouldn't say an oud, but like it's a very like like a like a woody. It's it's gorgeous. Essentially, it's absolutely stunning. That bottle is beautiful, Joe. You're gonna love that. Now number seven. Oh, this is a tight one. They've really packed this in. Okay, we have got the Barbara Sturm Molecular Cosmetics, the Good Vitamin C Serum. So this is obviously a deluxe mini, so it's probably very expensive um, if it's just in a mini form. And it's in a little bottle like this. I know that this particular brand has an advent calendar and it is ridiculously expensive. Um, it's made in Germany. It has inside a little information booklet, but vitamin C, lovely and brightening on the skin. Then we've got door number eight. Door number eight, where are you? Here you are. Obviously, I'm probably not their target audience. Um, <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is jammed in. That was, ooh, okay. So we've got the Larry King a social life for your hair oh, satin finishing hair cream this looks very nice look at that so it says the supercharged satin finishing cream works for with every hair type use it to tame anything from a full head of curls to super fine flyaway hair whether your hair is long or short straight or curly this is the ultimate product for everyone use it to smooth divine add shine Texture or to team. This is an everyday hair hero never to be caught without so you just use a pea-sized amount on your palm and rub it through your hands and in your hair um, This is great. Oh, you can blow dry with it as well Abs this, this looks lovely and I like that it's in a, a metal tube number nine down at the bottom No makeup so far. No makeup. Oh, we've got two more things. So we have got the Bamford Sage Hand and Body Wash and the Citrus Hand and Body Wash. I like that that they've done this. They've given us two small ones, but they've given us some to try from different smells. So I feel like I'm gonna really like the sage because I like herby smells. Light herbal smell. It's very nice. I, I would say this is quite a unisex smell because it's light and fresh, but both men and women could really enjoy it. And then this one, this is citrus. This smells like a sharp citrus sort of a smell. Again, very light. I'm uh, really struggling to smell this one. It's, it, from, from what I can smell, it's, all, it's very bitter. It's almost like a peel, like, like an orange peel. I, I don't know, these are ones that you probably have to really get on your skin, but I like the fact that you've got two to try. That's really good. And also, you could always just pour these into your hand soap, because obviously if you find it too much to, um, well it's hand and body wash. I was gonna say that like, you could put it into like a hand pump. What we've got here, we've got the another hair care item. It says, Deeper Love, hair by Sam McKnight. It's an intense hair mask. And that's it there. I like the packaging, nice kind of like silver black. Ooh, that's an unusual smell. It's very fresh. I'm sure I've had something like this before. It's a very fresh smell. Um, it looks quite like a runny hair mask, like still thick enough to scoop out, but like it would like be not so thick that you like it feels really thick when you put it do you know what i mean like it's it's really but thick okay we have got a oh okay we've got an l a bruquette lip balm um, and this is mandel almond number 17. i feel like i've definitely seen this brand in liberty and this is you, a gorgeous natural lip balm with beeswax, almond oil, coconut oil, long-lasting moisturising, soothing effect in hot or hot and dry or cold climate. Um, let's see if I can have a smell. Oh, it's a screw top. Doesn't have a smell, but that's what it looks like on the end. You can't see. Are you going to show them the end? There we go. Number 12. Oh my God, we're almost, Santa is almost here. So the first kind of bit of makeup that we've got is a lip balm, which isn't really makeup. Um, then we've got the Liberty of London 
um, Aromatherapy Associates Clear Mind Rollerball. Look at the box. This is what I mean about Liberty of London's, um, like their fabrics look like this. Really stunning. It says, experience balance and stillness. Release the mind and reconnect with the powerful qualities of chamomile, frankincense, palma rosa and bergamot to help you feel truly revitalised on the go. So you just roll this on your uh, kind of pulse points. Oh, I like the way the box opens. Right, I'm just going to open this up so you can see it. And that is absolutely bloody gorgeous. Look at that. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Like, I, like I've never opened an advent calendar before or seen, seen a rollerball fragrance. <laughs> but that's beautiful. I'm going to put that back in there for Joe to enjoy. Where are you? Up oh, down here in the bottom left. Are we going to get some makeup? Or are we going to get some makeup? Because I feel like we've not had it. I get it. That's probably wanted to make it a bit unisex so everybody can enjoy it. But, you know, it's a beauty advent calendar. Beauty is a bit of everything. We've got a nice glass jar. Oh, it's a nice green. I love green. Do you know what it is? I love green glass and I love blue glass. There's something quite bougie about that. This is the Votary Nutrient Cream Light. Hydrate your skin. It's free from fragrance and allergens, cruelty free and vegan. Um, and it's, and it says, oh, sorry, cruelty free and vegan, naturally. Um, it doesn't have any sort of um, ingredients on here, but this is what it looks like on the inside. There we go. I'm going to smell anyway because, uh, yeah, it doesn't really have a smell. But that is a beautiful jar. And I'm just going to, don't know if I showed you what it looks like, but that's it there. Oh, we've got a big drawer for number 14. A big drawer. Just gently pull that out. <gasps> There's two things again. I love how there's lots of, oh, the lids come off. Okay, put that there. Spoiler alert. We've got two things. Oh my god, I love how there's like multiple products in each drawer. And I think that's a that's a smart move because first of all, we're in a bit of a a recessiony type thing and people want to get as much bang for their books. And I think when you're spending this much money on an advent calendar and a lot of the stuff is deluxe size, you need to give us more than just one per drawer. So that's like three drawers now that I've had multiple things in it. So the first thing we've got here is the QMS Medi Cosmetics Advanced Collagen Serum in Oil. This is it here. And it says doesn't tell you how to use it which is really again it's really frustrating I mean obviously I'm going to assume this is for your face you, you, you've got to give us more than this then you've got the oh first first proper bit of um makeup this is the Trish Mukivoy 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 Trish Mukivoy Lash Curly Mascara in Jet Black I like the way that this feels this feels like a metal tube it's cool to the touch i'm not going to pull this out because obviously joe has to use this and i don't want to get air in this um but this feels very nice it feels sleek okay so we've got a bath oil that's nice to get something for the bath i feel like you get like shower gels sometimes in these kind of advent colors we don't really get stuff for the bath this is viden a Borealist bath oil. I'm so sorry. So this has grapeseed oil in it. It has sunflower seed oil in it. It has passion flower. Um, it, the perfume is natural, but it doesn't say what smell it is. So it says, okay, an intense and moody blend of woods and smoky greens. Oh my God, this smell sounds like it's gonna smell amazing. I'm just gonna open it from the top. Oh, I mean, they weren't kidding. That is so green and woody. It's very sharp. That is lovely. I love the smell of that. That smells divine. I wonder if you pour it in the bath if it goes milky or not. I'm not too sure. But it says 100% natural fragrance, 100% natural product, 14% post-consumer recycled packaging, 100% recyclable packaging, and 100% vegan and cruelty free. It says 1% for the planet. Don't really know what that means, but okay. That is gonna go in day 15. We've only got 10 days left uh, until the big man throws himself down the chimney and says, hiya. Okay, we've got a small skinny drawer down here, maybe a lipstick or an eyeliner. Ooh, two things again. Oh my God, yes. So we've got a very expensive brand off the bat that I know about. This is, 
This is not the brand I thought it was, so I don't know what I'm talking about. This probably is an expensive brand. Though. This is Ms. Skin by Dr. Mariam Zamini. Zam Zamini? Zamini. Hydra Lift Gold Face Mask. Lifting and Hydrating Hydrogel Face Mask. Um, and that's it there. And it says, um, you just leave on for 15 minutes. So yes, that's it there. But the other thing we've got is from, what the, f <laughs> what is this brand? I mean, I, I absolutely adore the packaging. It's, it's, it's black with a, a iridescent purple shift. It's, it's stunning down to a matte black at the bottom. I don't know what, oh, it's Surratt. The brand is Surratt Lip Slick in Eglatine. So I wonder if this is going to be a red. I'm just trying to, first of all, I'm going to show you the, the packaging. That would help, wouldn't it? You can't, it's not picking up how stunning this part is. It's almost like an oil slick, right? I'm going to just gently, oh no, it's like a, it's like a nudie pink colour. And I think Jo will really enjoy this. This is very much like a colour that she would, would like. 16, number 17. Push some of you back in because I'm running out of space. We've got a bottle of glass. Oh, it's a chunky glass bottle. And this is the Malin and Goetz Resurfacing Face Serum. And this has 8% HAs, 2% 3-0-ethyl absorbic acid. Um, and it's an exfoliating brightening serum synthesizing alpha hydroxy acids and stabilized vitamin C to help improve skin tone and texture. Joe, if your skin is not, I mean, your skin's really good anyway, but if your skin is not perfect by the end of this advent calendar, that's crazy. And then it's got a little nib. I will say the nib, I didn't make it dirty, Joe, I promise. It was already like that. But I love how it's in a, a milky glass bottle. We have got another glass bottle. Very little makeup. Very little makeup. We've got another squeeze one. We've got Dr. Sabag or Sabah Retinol Night Repair Anti Aging Pore Refining Collagen Boosting um, Serum. Look at this nib though. I, I hope that's okay. Oh, it, actually, I can see it sucking up inside, but that's the bottle there. I wanna, I kinda want, no, I won't open it because it's got a safety seal on it. I wanted to see what it smelled like. But obviously, retinol, very anti-aging, really good for helping with fine lines and wrinkles. I've got the ordinary one, and the ordinary one's nice, but I imagine that this is probably even better. That's number 18. Number 19, oh my God. Six days until Santa comes. Joe, I will say as well, two of these doors, I'm not pulling like mega hard, but there's two little creases in here. And this number 19 was already creased before I got here. I'm just forewarning. Um, I'm just going to try and gently pull this out. So if you see what I mean, like, I'm so sorry, Joe, like this little crease here from being pulled. We have got, look at this packaging. There we go. Look at that. This is the Seated Queen Evening Cleanser Night Mask. It's a cold cream. Oh, and this comes in nice frosted glass. And you can, it's a three-way product. So it's a makeup remover and cleanser, facial or overnight mask. How to apply? Apply the skin and remove the dampened cloth. This smells very nice. This smells full of like, it smells quite incensey. It smells very nostalgic. It smells like when you go into like a hippie shop. You know what that smell? That's very, that smells really good. I think, Joe, you're going to enjoy that. Door number 20. See, this one came out great. This is a fortifying moisturiser called Emotion D by Zellens. There is absolutely no instructions on this at all, no ingredients on this at all, and it doesn't tell you what it's for. I'm going to assume it's for your face, but obviously you can get hair moisturisers. So, again, if you're going to do deluxe samples, you need to tell us what it's for and where it's for. We've got, for day 21, we've got another bit of makeup. This is Rose Ink Brow Renew in Rich Shaping Brow Gel. And it's in Fill 01. So I'm going to assume, this is the packaging, by the way. I'm going to assume that this is going to be clear. 
because it'd be quite an assumption, but it's essentially it's gonna be like a clear brow product to lift your brows and whatnot. Because you know, putting in, I'm just gonna take out this bit of paper, to put in a, a colored product for your brows, it's a bit hitty missy, because you don't always know what shade the person's gonna be. 22, this is a long one. Giggity, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, put me in the bin. Why won't you go in? There's so much stuff in this box. Oh my God. There's so, that can't be right. This is day 22. Why have I got three things in day 22? Like three full size things. Like, I don't understand. That's absolutely insane. Well, the first thing we've got is the Ren Glycol Glycolats Latic. Glycolatic Radiance Renewal Mask with AHA. And it says clean to skin, clean to the planet. Look at that. I like Ren stuff. I got some Ren stuff in that look fantastic box. Uh, you can get a lot of um, Ren stuff actually for really cheap in TK Maxx. I find a lot of that in there. But that's what it looks like. I kind of really want this advent calendar, but it's quite expensive. But that's it there. I'm going to pop that in here. Then we have got the Kate Somerville Skin Health Experts All Skin Types Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliate and Treatment. Well, you know, I do like an exfoliate, and it says AM or PM, apply a thin, even layer to clean wet skin. Um, to a clean wet face, sorry, massage in circular motions for 30 seconds, leave on for up to two minutes, rinse. So I wonder if it actually has a scrub in it or if it's just like full of acids. But let's open it up. Now I got the Kate Somerville goat milk cleanser in that look fantastic advent calendar and it was like okay i've still got some left it kind of stings my eyes and i got the kate somerville um daily deflector mineral sunscreen spf for reduced and tk max for 10 pounds should have been 40. pump terrible lid really hard to get off when i first got it and it exploded everywhere you get this white film over the skin so if you are deeper skin toned you're gonna look like a ghost, essentially, when you when you put that on. Like, it's not the, I'll use it up, because obviously you should use sunscreen, but I wouldn't get the Kate Summerville sunscreen again. But this is the Exfoliate Intense Exfoliating Treatment. This looks really nice. I know you can, it's, I know you could probably use it in the daytime, but I've, but maybe a little bit too scared to use it in the daytime in case it's too, too strong. This is the Uoma, Salute to the Sun Drama Bun ex Drama Drama Bun Drama Bomb uh, Extreme Volume Nourishing Mascara in Chem. This is I love the packaging. It looks very Egyptian. And I'm going to open this up so we can see. I wonder if the tube's going to be gold. <gasps> it is gold. That's awesome. I love the way that that looks. Sorry, Joy, you're going to get greasy fingerprints all over that. So that was three things in day. 22 and obviously they're all full size unreal unreal all right i'm going to put these back in the drawer so then what are we going to get on day 25 right because that feels like a day 25 type of a thing right so we're on day 22 so day 23 is over here push that in over there and then, oh right okay now this is the expensive thing i thought i was talking about before this is by 111 skin this is the rose quartz exfoliating mask i think this is going to be a deluxe mini this brand is so freaking expensive and they have their own advent calendar and again it is ridiculously expensive that's it there's a little tube um, and it says apply generous <laughs> of course you will apply generously onto clean skin paying particular attention to dull or clogged areas leave on to up to 10 minutes wash off thoroughly with water and follow up with your usual 111 skin regime i don't know what's in it though but yeah daily 24 it's christmas eve and santa's almost here christmas eve and santa's almost here how the heck do i get this in here 24 small one Oh, okay, fair enough. So this isn't a really expensive brand. Um, this is um, Le, Le Labo. And this is called The Matcha 26. And this is an eau de parfum. Um, and it says, Happy Christmas. So this, I wonder if this is like a limited edition smell. Oh, well, if that doesn't smell like a bougie bitch, I don't know what does. 
that is oh my god that is phenomenal and the 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 lid is so heavy and it's embossed with Lee Labo on it this stuff is so expensive my god that is like it's almost a little bit oody but it's not mm, that's, it's spicy it's like almost a bit peppery maybe a little bit like um molten brown like the the brown pepper smell but oh god that is that smells like an expensive person hell yeah i think you can buy like a, a taster sesh from this brand where you buy their samples and it's it's an expensive thing i think it's like 90 pounds something like that but then you get a voucher to redeem for a full-size fragrance and last but not least santa is here so let's see what we get for day 25 because if you remember on day 22 which was only a couple days ago we got three things we got three full-size things oh my god that perfume <laughs> see you later peony santa is here oh huh, okay hmm see now i know that this product is probably really expensive but when you get three full-size items in day number 22 and this is what you get which is a 60 gram candle which isn't a very big candle um this is hera rose woodland moss golden amber now this might smell amazing but obviously sometimes when i hear the word rose i'm like Ooh! but i don't know if this is like a liberty's own brand i'm gonna be honest this is a little bit disappointing for day 25 I think door number 22 should have been day number 25 um because you know Santa's been and he's left you a whole load of treats and um, so to get a candle mm, I mean this better be the best smelling uh candle I've ever had I like the inside because it looks like Liberty and it says no minute gone comes ever back again take heed and see ye nothing do in vain I mean that does smell pretty damn good um okay that smells incredible it does smell good should this have been a hundred gram candle you know absolutely um what does the bit what's the burn time it says do not burn longer than four hours but i don't know what the actual burn time is for this it doesn't tell you what the burn time is for this but that smells it's very light green a little bit sweet you can smell the rose in there, the amber. It's beautiful. It's stunning. But should that have been the final day? Though maybe what they were thinking was, you've had all your treats beforehand. You're going to have all your presents from loved ones and family and things like that. Light a candle when everybody comes round. Maybe. I just think the three items one should have been number 25. Because that's such a, a big thing. But oh my God, this advent calendar. Joe... When you get this back, if you get it back, I want to joke and you can have it back. Um, you're gonna absolutely love it. Um, there are so many absolutely beautiful things in here. So many different things to try. And I like the fact that there's stuff for your hair, your body, your skin, your bath, your shower. Uh, there's a bit of makeup. Could there have been a little bit more makeup? Yes, maybe an eyeshadow. But overall, this is stunning. My only thing is, is that obviously, maybe these little pulleys, these little divots here, could be reinforced. Because obviously, I've just got two here that have got the little, the little kind of nicks in them. And I really wasn't ragging it around, and I feel terrible. But other than that, this box is absolutely stunning. And I can just, I can smell that bougie perfume, the, 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 the Labo. Oh, I need that. Um, but yes, this is, I feel like, I'm going to shut this here, I really do feel like this is worth £245. Uh, and that's really me saying that, I mean obviously I've not spent £245, but opening this up kind of makes me want to buy it, and I know that they have some left, and it's like, well do I get it? Do I get it? Because the stuff in here seems fantastic. Um, I would love to have received that as a gift 
you know, if, if, if Alex, Alex, anyone, if you're listening, wanted to uh, gift me this for, for an advent colour, that'd be lovely. Um, but yes, let me know what you think of this advent calendar down below. Did you like it? Would you get it? Would you save up? Maybe get the subscription box so then you can save up for it next year. Because obviously £245 is a lot of money to spend. But you are getting a lot of products as well. I do think, although whilst there was drawers with multiple products in, which is great, I do think maybe for that price tag one or two full, more full-size items in. If I'm going to be extra critical of the box. But overall, this is the best box that I've opened on my channel, like, for obvious reasons. Um, it's beautiful. Do you know what I would love? A perfume advent calendar. Ooh, that would be so nice, but so expensive. But I would really like one. But yes, let me know what you think down below. If you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. It really does help push my videos out to the greater world so that more people can join in with our lovely little community if you really liked it you can subscribe to the channel we're on our way to 3,000 subscribers and i'm going to do a giveaway at 3,000 and um, to say thank you for all of your lovely support um i was gonna say facebook instagram you can follow me on instagram here and tiktok and also youtube at the end will recommend some videos for you guys to watch if you want to stay a bit longer and watch some more videos but thank you so much for watching and i'm going to see you in the next video bye